Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of the Spartan Sports Zone. I'm Mike Bellow, the Assistant Sports Information Director, here with Sports Information Assistant, Shandria Lee. Graduation ceremonies are this weekend, and we are down to just baseball and softball left in season. But we'll start our show this week by looking back at a solid finish at the conference championships for a third program. The women's track and field team took part in the MEAC Outdoor Championships late last week at the Irwin Belt Track at North Carolina a and In the end, the Spartans earned 79 points to place third, which marked their best finish in a conference championship meet since winning the outdoor title in 2011. Sophomore Kiara Howell was named the most outstanding field athlete after finishing second in the javelin and discus and third in the shot put. The Spartans also had a pair of event winners at the meet. Junior Tierra Davis won the pole vault title, giving her a sweep of the indoor and outdoor titles this season. Junior Fiona Masai also won gold as she took first in the 3,000 meter steeplechase. Senior Champagne Bell placed second in the long jump, one of 10 top five finishes for the Spartans over the course of the meet. It marked the end of the season for the Spartan women as no one was able to qualify for the NCAA East Regional later this month. The NSU men were ineligible for the MEAC championship. Spartan softball left early Tuesday morning for the 2014 MEAC championship in Ormond Beach, Florida. The Spartans entered the tournament as the third seed in the MEAC North at 12 and 6. And she will kick off the tournament by facing number two seed from the South, Florida A&M, on Thursday at 1.30 p.m. at the Ormond Beach Sports Complex. Spartans got to that point after falling to Hampton in all three games last weekend at home. Saturday was senior day for five players, and after all of the honors, the Spartans took on Hampton for a pair of games. And she's offense struggled in losing the first game 6-0. Pirates put seven runs on the board in the first inning of game two and eventually came away with a 10-6 victory. Game three on Sunday did see the Spartans rally in the bottom of the seventh. Kayla McNair hit a two-run single to make it 7-6, but NSU got caught in a rundown on the play for the final out of the game. Following the game against FAMU on Thursday, NSU would play a second contest later that day as part of the championship and then move on from there. Fans can follow all of the action at the tournament with the live stats feed available at NSUSpartans.com. Coming up after the break, we'll take a peek at where baseball stands a week out from their conference tournament. And did track's performance at the MEAC championships land one of those players at the number one spot in our top three performances? You're watching the Spartan Sports Zone, fueled by Gatorade. Secure your future by getting a top-notch education only at Norfolk State University. With world-class faculty and facilities, a bustling campus life, and highly regarded programs in the College of Science, Engineering, and Technology in the School of Business, Norfolk State is one of Virginia's leaders in higher education. Founded in 1935 as a beacon of hope to the region's youth, more than 78 years later, the university remains a source of inspiration for those in the Hampton Roads region and beyond who aspire to fulfill their dreams. A military-friendly school in one of the largest military areas of the world, Norfolk State University is home to faculty researchers who have forged partnerships that have created cutting-edge virtual learning environments. With more than 30,000 alumni, Norfolk State has played a vital role in our community in the past and is serving in a critical role today and will continue to be an academic leader in the future. Find out more at nsu.edu. Norfolk State University, infinite possibilities. Welcome back to the Spartan Sports Zone. NSU Baseball locked up the number two seed in the MEAC Northern Division for next week's conference championships. The Spartans did so after sweeping UMES last week on the road. NSU won a pair of seven inning games on Saturday, downing the Hawks 12-2 and 7-1. The Spartan offense scored the most runs all season in a 15-1 victory on Sunday. The Spartans got solid pitching all weekend with Stephen Butt and Matt Altman, combining to give up just three earned runs in 14 innings on Saturday. Five Spartan pitchers then combined to give up just one earned run in eight innings on Saturday. Chase Kiriakou had a big weekend for the Spartan offense as he hit six for ten with five runs and five RBI. Cameron Day drove in three runs in the first game on Saturday and Zach Markle and Justin Lee each had three RBI in Sunday's game. The Spartans were expected to play Jackson State Thursday and Friday for a three-game series to close out the regular season. Jackson State's bus, though, caught fire on the way to a game at Savannah State, forcing the Tigers to cancel the series. As of Tuesday morning, NSU was looking for an alternative opponent to play. Thursday had been designated NSU Baseball versus Hunger, as the Spartans were set to raise money for the local food bank. Friday was also set to be NSU's Senior Day. Check back at NSUSpartans.com this week for updates on the baseball schedule and activities. It is now time to reveal our top three performances from the past week. Earning a spot at number three and appearing for the second week in a row is senior outfielder Chase Kiriakou. He had a pair of hits in all three games against UMES 
and also added five runs and five RBI. Kiriaku is now hitting 448 in his last eight games. Coming in at number two is junior runner Fiona Masai. She won a 3,000 meter steeplechase at the MIAC Championships, helping NSU finish third overall as a team. She also placed fifth in the 5,000 meter run as well. And rounding out our top performance is a sophomore thrower, Kiera Howe. She was named the most outstanding field athlete for the second year in a row after earning 22 team points in three events. Howe placed second in the javelin and the discus and third in the shot put. Congratulations to Kiriaku, Masai, and Howe for being featured in our top three performances fueled by Gatorade. And that will wrap up this week's edition of the Spartan Sports Zone. As always, we would like to thank the Department of Video and Media Productions and Chantel Copes for all their help. I'm Chandra Lee. And I'm Mike Bell. Thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you next week.